What's up, everybody out there in YouTube land? Wrath2501 here. All right, time for the Warhammer part. This one's kind of weird, all right? This place, this, oh, well, not this place. This video is by Major Kill, and this is Pleasure Worlds Explained by an Australian, okay? So I'm hoping that this isn't uh, too, too far. Uh, if it goes too far, you guys aren't even watching this. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's... Because I know, yeah, in the Imperium they have Pleasure Worlds, and, uh, yeah, of course, basically it's just, they introduced that into Warhammer just to attract the horny, so, you know, no, bad, go to horny jail. Of course, once again, disclaimer, uh, Wrath 25 Productions does not endorse any action, element, person, organization, or anything else in this video. We are not endorsing jack shit, this is purely for commentary and reaction purposes only okay shit I gotta do this shit all the time anyway uh, let's get started see what he's got to say and go Today we'll go for a pleasure world what they are I had to cut out his advertisement at the beginning yes, right there we will talk about how prolific orgies are on them let's get into it the Pause Indian, on that. despite being a super racist is a very diverse place there the, are a multitude of different types of planets. Only racist against non-humans. These range from reasonably pleasant civilized worlds to overcrowded high worlds, all the way down to death worlds. Which, yeah, use your fucking imagination. Yeah, death Out of all these worlds, by far the nicest are the pleasure worlds, also known as paradise worlds or garden worlds. They are characterized by their reasonably low populations, little to no taxes paid to the Imperium, an abundance of important influential people who want to take a break from fighting space bugs of death here and there. Most of them are landlocked mm. and potentially even population controlled to ensure that it doesn't eventually just become another shithole in the Imperium. The word pleasure, much to every simp's dismay, isn't synonymous with sexual activity. I take pleasure in sitting on a beach on a nice day. I take pleasure in beating Why? some sweaty Korean in Age of Empires 3. And I take pleasure in hooking Tracer and Roadhog in Overwatch. So for the most part, <laughs> pleasure worlds are basically just one big world full of tourism. So who gets to visit these pleasure worlds? The rich well, and powerful, of course. Well, workers and servitors there to cater to the world's visitors. Someone's got to blend that pina colada, you know. Beyond yeah. them, members of the Navigator Houses, which are those dudes that look like Tien from Dragon Ball Z if he had bone marrow cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Dude! After all, their job is to literally peer into hell. So it's no surprise that they could use a break here and there. Yeah. Military governors are also allowed to visit because they're rich as fuck. High-ranking mm. members of the Ecclesiarchy have access. After all, hanging out with choir balls all day can be exhausting. High-ranking members of the Ecclesiarchy also have access. After all, hanging out with choir boys all day can be exhausting. It's not really set in stone who can and can't come. Imperial commanders, high-ranking administrator members, and even rogue traders can come and go. If you're in the top, you know, 0.01%, you can come. That's the gist of it. As <laughs> such, Pleasure Worlds are the ultimate place for networking. Rogue traders can talk to some of the most influential commanders over a massage and some Mai Tais. Basically, um, crime uh, nests right there. Simply by being on the other end of a spit. Here is where the sex part of the Pleasure Worlds comes in. You've got a world that's... Okay, so naked, this is being, this is being covered and out. And full of rich dudes and dudettes on holidays. A lot of stressed out. Rich I'm not putting his kids. shit in this. Obviously, He's showing some. People gonna fuck. Yeah. They're gonna do drugs. They're gonna have orgies. But like, fuck, man. Slanesh doesn't own the patent to MDMA. Just because you double team some chick with your. Boy, uh, doesn't Slanesh think sinner, that, that it Slanesh owns the patent that to that shit? It just means you're living your best life. There is no rule in the Imperium about not being allowed to have mad sex. Yes, sometimes this does go too far, and there have been hidden Slaneshi pleasure cults on pleasure worlds, but these are extremely <laughs> and unimportant. Cults. Like there has never been a successful chaos uprising on a pleasure planet, if huh. any uprising at all. All pleasure worlds that have been destroyed have been destroyed by external forces, i.e. a Tyranid Hive Fleet. To make yeah. things harder for Slaanesh, Inquisitors also need a break here and there, and can kick back on pleasure worlds. Pretty sure if an Inquisitor was halfway through an orgy and some bitch suddenly grew a crab hand and railed a kilo Cra of cocaine. A crab the hand? What the hell, like, man? Hmm. Bang. You know what I mean? Just because the world is given a bit more freedom doesn't mean the Imperium won't curb stop the living shit out of it if it gets out of line. Yeah, Those true. Those worlds aren't just cheeky barley getaways for the rich and powerful. They often host native populations that are uniquely gifted in very niche areas. 
See, okay. in the grim darkness of 40k, people are fucking stressed out. There is a lot yeah, of... Yeah, you would think so. It gives them a very narrow-minded, pessimistic perspective. However, on Paradise Worlds, shit is chill. People can explore their feelings and talents with an open mind. There is no hard labor, so they can dedicate their life to something beyond war. As such, natives of Pleasure Worlds are readily recruited by the Imperium to act as envoys and diplomats. They are so chill huh. that they can literally change the mood of everyone in a room. Imagine people from North Korea meeting a less brain dead version of a surfer from Noosa. Other natives a less brain dead version? To enlightenment and martial arts. Hence, if you're looking for some Shaolin monks in 40k, this is the place to find them. The huh. point is that a pleasure planet is so different from the rest of the Imperium that they create different types of people that can be a huge asset. How common are these special worlds? Well, pretty fucking uncommon. Despite exploring yeah, talented I would think so. individuals, they are kind of useless in the grand scheme of things. In times of crisis, they don't have armies or factories to make weapons with. The planetary conditions for a pleasure world are also very unique. If it's a super verdant world with great weather, it'll usually get turned into an agri world for large scale food production. It's only when the world is filled with insane natural wonders, as well as poor climate for food growing, that they would allow it to become a pussy pad. We only really know about just a really, dozen dude? of them, with nearly half of those already wiped out. The oh. Rapture was a paradise world that got eaten by a splinter fleet of high fleet Leviathan. Calithian oh, was a former Exonite world turned pleasure world that got curb stomped by some Cornite demons. Erudite oh, got bombed by the forces of Nurgle, which you know never ends well, whilst <laughs> never ends was well. attacked and retaken by the Eldar. I say retaken, as quite a few pleasure worlds used to be maiden worlds. Maiden worlds being planets terraformed by the Elder thousands of years ago to be very nice and lush. Oh, oops. The remnants of the Elder oops. Empire scattered, many of these maiden worlds were abandoned, then taken by the Imperium, because they're just so damn nice. Occasionally, the <laughs> Elder will massacre some unsuspecting humans on these worlds, because they're salty about how fucked on their race has gotten, which yeah. is a point of major friction between the two factions. Like 9 out of 10 times when the Elder randomly attack a human world, it's because it used to be a maiden world. I'm actually really surprised that One Mind Syndicate was able to pump out two 16 minute videos on this topic. What the there crap? Is fuck all lore about Pleasure Worlds. Dude, like what I the hell? I included every bit of lore I was able to scour across multiple sources, and this video would be lucky to clock 10 minutes. I may be full of shit and occasionally get the <laughs> wrong, but at least I don't waste your time by bloating the ever living shit out of my content. If you enjoyed the video and you want to. Okay. Support, well, that was uh, very uh, <laughs> critical. Okay, so there's, um, he's talking about his other stuff, and, uh, yeah, I don't, so I can't show us what he's talking about. Anyway, so, Pleasure Worlds Explained. Well, at least he didn't go, like, into too much detail, though. There was, uh, if you guys want to see what he, what I covered up there, uh, mm, better. Then you're going to have to click on the link to the original down description, get down there and find out what he was, uh, really talking about, because I don't put that on this channel. Well, sometimes I do, but not this time. <laughs> anyway, I do hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, that's interesting. This is a weird piece of lore, but obviously it seems to be minor, but not quite minor for the uh, for the Warhammer 40k lore. Um, yeah, because he said there's there were only like about a dozen of them, and half of them are gone. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, so uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe, guys. I will see you guys next time. Tune in every day for new content. Bye-bye.